looks amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's kind of blowing my mind a little bit. I just wasn't expecting this particular formation. I think it's going to be hard to see Saturn for you guys. like a clear triangle and you just have a real sense of the depth it's like so clear that the moon is close to the earth and Jupiter's way far away but then Saturn's even further but yeah now it looks like there's a slingshot with the moon pulling back the rubber band with uh, Jupiter and Saturn the prongs Mars is supposed to be there but I don't see it yet it's just risen sleep. I got a, like, I don't know, three hours, four hours? Nah, not even. Wasn't intending to try to get up this early to see it rise, but my eyes were open and it's like, this is it. The weather's not maybe going to be as good tomorrow. So this might be it for me. Like a really clear shot at seeing it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You see Saturn on there? Blessings. I'll be back. when you follow your intuition and your left brain is going at you like why are you doing this you're gonna regret this you're not gonna sleep <laughs> but I'm like I can't sleep I'm like I just want to go out 
That's what my able body said. I want to go out underneath the stars. And my head was like, I don't know. But meanwhile, I'm looking at something so magic. Oh, I'm learning so much tonight. Such a rare and special moment for astronomers and skywalkers. Star walkers. Wanderers. Dreamers. I'm underneath. I don't know if it's a willow tree. I don't think so, but it's approximately in that direction, which makes it one of my happiest trees ever. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's early in the morning. I think it's a little bit past four. And I think I might walk all the way to that park again. Because it's so magic out. It's just so quiet. And there's no wind. come together like that <laughs> I can tell you <laughs> I mean thank you sky thank you Jupiter oh my gosh sweet moon look she's like cradling them she's like See, from this perspective, it feels like she's at the center of a circle, which she is, because she's basically us, <laughs> in terms of how much space we're taking up and where exactly we're moving. We might as well be one thing, of course. The Earth-Moon unit. And you can just feel it. She's, she's holding space for the gods. She's like, I got this. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Grandmother. Great grandmother. Great, 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 great grandmother all the way back to Ireland. <laughs> uh, are the Irish big star, war star watchers, sky watchers? I don't know this about Irish inclinations. I feel like we probably like the stars a lot. The planets. And the moon, of course. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Where did the legends of werewolves come from? Like, historically. It seems like it could have been like Ireland. <laughs> Scottish werewolves in kilts. Mm. Mother. Yeah, that's what this feels like. Oh, it's an exact moon Saturn conjunction. I don't know if you can see Saturn, but it's like straight from where I'm pointing the camera. It's straight in a line. So I'm right now. The Earth is in alignment with the Moon, which is in alignment with Saturn, which is conjunct Pluto. So if you keep going and going back there, I'm aligned with the Moon, Saturn, Pluto triple conjunction right now. And Jupiter's on one 
side, but basically just perfectly in alignment. And Mars has just been there moving along. But wow, yes, mother lineage is with Saturn. Deepest, biggest, grandest maternal lineage, all the way back to Eve, Sophia, Saraswati. not this close at all there would be these monthly pulses of the moon conjoining Saturn and Pluto like it is right now 12 monthly pulses without Jupiter but now Jupiter's here to help and the moon with Jupiter is so very helpful and the moon with Saturn is so very helpful so very helpful because you get in touch with your deepest needs your deepest human needs and human rights and from a place of incredible power a claiming of your right to get your needs met in this world there's a principle of fairness and balance that demands justice. That's just the way it goes. Yeah, it's a high council and it's a high court. Cosmic pause. Cosmic pause to reflect and give thanks. Give thanks. This is the such a special alignment for having an understanding of massive scales of time. So I think it's about reflecting on your own life on a mass scale level, like in terms of the biggest cycles both within this incarnation and the multi-incarnational journey of the soul. That's the biggest scale we're talking about. As it seems that our souls are attracted to different qualities and moments of time. thinking about my life in terms of a Jupiterian scale for sure. What's happened over the last 12 years? So much. 
much happens in such a big amount of time, but you can remember pretty well 12 years back. It's kind of relatively recently, certainly on the planetary scale. I wish I had a better camera for this because, gosh, I know somebody's getting great video, please. <laughs> and, uh, oh, there's somebody with a really great night camera taking pics right now from some awesome spot in San Francisco. Oh my gosh, where are you? <laughs> this is good. It's good. Thinking back 12 years, so many stories, but like so much artistry in that amount of time. You got a lot of room to breathe and explore and repeat patterns, repeat mistakes, but grow and expand and feel joy that only is possible over large scales of time. A certain kind of joy that comes from. Jokes that pay off 12 years later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see yourself and you kind of laugh. Like, holy shit. Did that really happen 12 years ago? Nine years ago? Six years ago? That's, these are Jupiter, Jupiterian scales of time. You can feel that it's manageable. Saturn's 30 year scale of time. Gosh. When you get to be 50 like me, going back 30 years can be to a spot that's very powerful. Like really big, early life challenges. That's a time where a lot of people have wounds. Like you've just left your home. Twenty off and you're on your own, learning how to be on your own. Learning how to be on your own. Without guidance or protection often. And that's unfortunate. Because <laughs> If we did a better job of protecting our teenagers, you know? Everybody be happier and less traumatized, I think. Pretty sure. is profound for me I'm definitely kind of going back to some pretty deep wounds 30 years ago 30 years ago when Saturn is right back to where it is right now wow like I can go back to that moment in time the surrounding couple years it's like, wow, yeah, that for me is, yeah, for everybody that's listening, you know, you go back to basically 1990, another, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Going back to another turn of a decade, 30 years ago. I can just feel how that time period was all about catching a wave that would take about a decade to play out 
you know. Big experiences, big life lessons. For me in 1990, I, I had a, wow, quite a year. That was quite a year in 1990. I went to Nigeria in 1990. And I also came to California for the first time. Yes. And I saw Jerry Garcia play live at Shoreline Amphitheater with the rest of the boys. <laughs> shows in a row. I'd only seen three shows over the previous two years. But now I figured out how to get mail order tickets. <laughs> and then I was in deep from that moment forward. Coming to California, back where it all began. Wow. Yes, my first trip to California, what a joy that was. My dear friend Brooke. Brooks. My dear friend Brooks hosted me. And I saw some family. I went to Hearst Castle. <laughs> I drove down Highway 1 in a rental car. <laughs> it was such a joy. Went to Monterey Bay Aquarium. It was so amazing. Well, so yeah, I'm tripping out on a 30-year time scale, right? We're always trying to integrate these different scales of time. Like, the more we integrate on these scales of time, the more we're kind of in flow. Because there is this a natural timing to integration. Different scales of integration happen in different units of time. So yeah, I'm integrating the last 12 years and all the lessons that are like a fractal of a larger 30-year cycle. Yeah. But then the Pluto scale is here. <laughs> really hardcore. Pluto moves so slow. 250 year cycle. So it's like Pluto's too big for one lifetime. I never thought about it exactly like that, but yeah. It's like Pluto is the level of like really the most powerful force of karma that happens at a scale that's epic truly epic, multi-lifetime, collective psyches. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like how our 
part individual karma moves and combines with collective karma. How my karma that comes from the Irish bloodline mingles with the karma of the local field here in San Francisco. And mingles with the national karma karma of people with white skin, the karma, the connection to exploitation, right? And a deep pause to take all that in, ground it, and be like, holy shit, this is what we're part of, people. <laughs> Let's get real. <laughs> in a situation where people really hurt each other. They're just figuring it out on a really big scale. Like on the thousand year time scale. Right? One thing that's happening is that Pluto right now is where it was in the sky when the revolutionaries signed their declaration of independence on the other side of the continent from here. They signed into being a vision for a new form of government government with checks and balances that is the key breakthrough a government that is checking itself especially when it comes to power and greed by so many different forms of balance that correct and try to keep the system from very easily being corrupted entirely because I say it that way because it's like it's gonna be corrupted that's how fucking important it is to have balances yeah this is the kind of conversation you have with your great 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 grandmother checking things out making sure everything's okay hey grandmother it's kind of hard down here <laughs> I was wondering if you can send some extra love. <laughs> Just a little extra protection. A little more responsibility. <laughs> Talk to myself. Okay. I think I'm, wow. Gosh, it's so nice here.
And so there's a like, yeah, the United States is having to really get in there with Pluto right now. Like, just like, Pluto's like, hey, let's talk about the entire trip around the sun for a minute. <laughs> let's see how you're doing, America. You signed a magic document <laughs> back in 1776. sunrise so that's also the daily cycle as well as the seasonal and yearly cycle so they're all here like wow we just you know we don't have Uranus or Neptune in there those are other that's another story of mommy, the second decade is the decade of daddy, the third decade is the decade of adventure, <laughs> decade of freedom, and what we do with it, what do we do with the freedom we're given, like, you can do some stuff in your 20s that just shapes everything for your whole incarnation, it's a really serious business. 
Thanks, grandmother. That's why, I, on a soul level, you really try to practice for your 20s. <laughs> you know, so you don't. So you don't have to have such a hard time with the fallout. You know what I'm saying? Gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna pause. There you are, little squirrel. You gonna look back? I didn't look back. Blessings, blessings, love, light, gratitude, kindness, honor. 